Welcome to this week's episode of the Modern Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Cook. Today's episode is all about how to crush that virtual interview. Because whatever 2021 brings our way, virtual work will remain a big part of it. So as you're interviewing, let's talk about how you can really shine. Global pandemic have you thinking that this is no time for a job change? Think again. Unemployment did soar to alarming rates in the early days of COVID. According to the Harvard Business Review, U.S. unemployment jumped from 3.5% in February of 2020 to 14.7% in April. But as of November of 2020, it's back down to 6.7%. There is a job market, and it's yours to partake in if you so choose. But the search is likely to be virtual. So whether you're out of a job or just looking for a change, let's talk about strategies that will help you shine on screen and land your dream job. First, polish that profile. Keeping your online presence current and polished is a good idea in any moment or market. But according to Fast Company, there's a particular urgency to sprucing it up right now. Because many HR professionals are relying on video interviews, they're also looking for ways to get a better feel for who the candidates are. So many are turning to social media profiles and looking for evidence of the candidates' work online. This is a moment to assess your professional online presence. Personally, I focus on LinkedIn. What's your headline? What achievements are you highlighting? Do you have links in your profile to samples of your work? Can you ask for testimonials or endorsements from people in your network? Ask a few friends to check out your LinkedIn profile as if they were looking to hire. Get their feedback and make adjustments. This is your moment to use LinkedIn like a rock star. Next, set the scene for success. My family has this little holiday tradition. Every year, we watch the 1989 classic National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It definitely gets worse every year, but you don't mess with tradition. This year, my 13-year-old was savvy enough to recognize that no one in Clark Griswold's office had a computer on their desk. She simply couldn't fathom the idea of getting work done in a pre-technology world. I can barely believe it myself. Technology has evolved in ways the workforce of 1989 could never have imagined. It's amazing what we can do today. But while video conferencing technology has technically enabled amazing things, we all know it can be a little clunky and awkward by 2020 standards. So do your best to make your virtual interview as smooth as possible. Here's a quick checklist. Check your tech. Internet connection, microphone, webcam. Are they all working? If not, make sure you troubleshoot ahead of time. Create a professional setting. Your background, real or virtual, should be as professional as possible. Test the platform in advance. Make sure that wherever you're meeting, Zoom, Teams, etc., you have everything downloaded or updated, and you'll be able to get into the virtual interview without a hitch. Do a practice run with a friend if you're anxious. Strip out distractions where you can. Kids, dogs, landscapers, snowblowers, they're all noisemakers of the highest order. Be aware and do your best to minimize. Acknowledge distractions you can't control. In a tiny apartment homeschooling kids solo? Don't stress. Just call this out as the meeting begins so no one is caught off guard. Any interview with a shred of humanity will offer you some grace. And if the interviewer isn't willing to cut you some slack, pay attention to that vibe. I mean, is a workplace that can't roll with real-world challenges graciously really where you want to be? Next, account for the floating head syndrome. Video conferencing is the best we've got, but it's not perfect. There is so much about in-person interaction that we really didn't appreciate until we lost it. We're now trading in floating heads. We've lost our access to body language, which helped us read the room or sense how we were being received by our conversation partner. In a pre-pandemic world, the savvy among us might read subtle cues from the interviewer indicating we've gone off topic or we're going into too much detail. But in the absence of body language, you've got only your voice. So check in, not constantly, but periodically. Ask the interviewer, am I answering the question you asked? Or how's this level of detail? I can provide more or less if that would be helpful. The interviewer will appreciate your checking in. It demonstrates an emotional intelligence many of your competitors may not show. Next, keep that energy soaring. 
We all know Zoom fatigue is real. Energy tends to be lower on video, so find ways to express enthusiasm that the interviewer can't help but experience. This isn't about singing and dancing, though some solid choreography would certainly make you memorable. But focus instead on being fully present. Close out all of your tabs or windows besides the video conference. The temptation to multitask or be distracted by an email is dangerous. This will help you stay focused on the conversation at hand. Be prepared to share stories or examples about projects you were really excited about being a part of. Oh, and find moments to just smile. Let your interviewer know visually that you're just happy to be there. Your enthusiasm will shine through. Next, ask questions of the moment. It's good practice in any climate to ask thoughtful questions in an interview. Hiring leaders respond well to curiosity, especially the kind that shows you did some prep work. In this particular climate, be sure you ask a question or two that is relevant to the experience we're all having. You might ask how they've shifted their strategy or service delivery, or what they've learned about their customers during COVID. This line of questioning shows not only a spirit of curiosity, but that you're thinking about the need to redirect, be agile, and consider the context when engaging with their products or customers. And finally, put your resilience on display. The great buzzword of 2020 will surely carry into 2021. You may have skills, experience, and connections, but every company wants to know, are you resilient? Buzzy though it may be, companies want, now more than ever, to recruit people who know how to deal with setbacks, handle rejection, learn from failure, and keep on trucking. So as you move through your conversation, find spots to highlight moments of failure that taught you something new, challenges you overcame, or difficult feedback you used to improve yourself. You can even talk about how you transitioned to working while homeschooling, nursing, and doing whatever else the pandemic has demanded of you. These are the rules of the road when it comes to virtual interviewing. And of course, it goes without saying that what mattered in traditional interviewing, being on time, being professional, doing your research, sending a thank you note, these things all still apply. And there you have it. Now go get them, Tiger. Have a question I can answer? Check out all the links in my bio for ways you can reach me. You can also visit my website at leadabovenoise.com or follow me on the Modern Mentor podcast page on LinkedIn, where I share exclusive tips, videos, and musings. Join me next week and next year for another great episode with actionable advice you can use to serve your career. Until then, wishing you a restful new year. Modern Mentor is produced by Dan Firebend edited by Karen Hertzberg and supported by the rest of the Quick and Dirty Tips team, which includes Michelle Margulis, Morgan Ratner, Emily Miller, and our Vice President of Podcasting, Kathy Doyle.